So I will show you uh, the very basic uh, tool that you can use uh, when working with uh, Polygon. Okay, uh, <coughs> I start with creating a simple mesh. Okay. Okay, then I'm gonna scale it to an appropriate size. Okay, the first one is uh, extrude. For the extrude, you can use it. Uh, you can like extruding another faces out of the out of the the whatever faces that you have already have. Okay, so. First, you have to go to the face mode. Go to object, right click, and activate the face mode. Okay, so you click on the face, and then you click, click, sorry, click here on edit mesh and extrude button. Okay. So right, right after you click the extrude button, the faces have already extrude, but it just not come out of the out of the original position so what you have to do is you have to drag it accordingly okay see so this is extra you can either drag it or you want to scale it or maybe you want to Rotate it. Yes, you may do so. Okay. Okay. You also can extrude it inward. So you just go at the mesh, extrude again. Okay. Maybe you want to extrude it and then scale it a bit. See. Okay. You can extrude it again without having to click on the menu here by hitting uh, G on your keyboard. G used to activate whatever tools that you just your your last used tool. Okay, let's say if you the last used tool is extrude when you hit G. Let's say I hit G now, it will extrude again. And go to back object mode, and you can see the shape that you have created. This is an example if you want to model an air vent. Okay. The next tool is will be uh, insert edge loop tool. Insert edge loop tool is for you to create a ring. Add another ring to your uh, mesh, but okay. So let's say I want to adjust the shape here. I just I will just use to go over here. Edit mesh. Sorry, I think mesh. Yeah, here insert edge loop. Click here. And then you have to click on the edge and drag, click, hold, and drag to whatever position that you feel uh, that you want, and then release the mouse button. Okay, and hit Q on your keyboard to exit the tool mode. You can see uh, the cursor, the shape of the cursor indicate that you are still in the inset edge loop tool mode. If you click, let's say I I won't hit the Q Q button on the keyboard first. I will just click on another edge and it will still activate the the tool. 
so when you hit Q it will exit the tool and whenever you click the tool will no longer taking effect okay so that's how it is maybe I want to edit the tool just go to edge mode double click to select the loop and I can maybe scale it move it backward Yeah, save here here and then maybe I want to skill a bit and that's how you create a shape using extrude and each loop tool okay thank you